Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. So for the full problem in the solution transcript, you can feel free to check out the description of this video on our YouTube channel. Uh, so this week's uh, Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week, very cool, um, is about the Chebyshev, uh, Chebyshev polynomial, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but basically, it gives you um, this, which will generate um, the Chebyshev polynomial, and it asks you to develop a series representation for um, this u n, u sub n of x. Um, so I really like this because orthogonal polynomials are really, really cool, and this kind of uses a lot of techniques with series that I find very interesting, very helpful, very cool. Um, and it's good to practice. So let's go ahead and start with uh, that left side. Uh, so I'm going to start by recognizing that the Taylor expansion for 1, uh, one divided by 1 minus x um, is given by, like, um, is just given as sum n goes from 0 to infinity, x to the power of n. Um, obviously, for uh, values that do not go to infinity. Um, so uh, by looking at this, we can see that if we plug in x is equal to 2 plus t minus t squared. So this 2xt minus t squared, um, if you plug that back in, you'll get this out. If you set x equal to that, we can just kind of say that um, this is, of course, equal to some x to the power of n, where we substitute this for x. So I'm going to follow that up with a binomial expansion, another series thing. Um, so. I'm going to write it in a few different forms and then highlight the ones that like we really care about. Okay, binomial expansion. I'm gonna give it to you right here, a plus b to the power of n. Uh, you get this series representation. And if you're willing to accept this is true, then you should also be able to accept that if I switch a and b, um, because that is a valid move, 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2, uh, you know, um, then you can also rewrite this as b to the k, uh, a to the n minus k, and those two expressions were equivalent. So the reason why I did that is because I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of want to match it up to this. And in doing that, I'm kind of doing this b plus a instead of a plus b. And uh, you're going to see what I mean by that in just a second. Um, n choose k is um, obviously, I will write this down, n factorial divided by k factorial, n minus k, in parentheses factorial. Uh, and I'm going to substitute all of that in uh, and just kind of show you the result. Uh, so here, I have kind of just plugged everything in based on how we um, kind of represented that in terms of a, b, and the sum, uh, the series. And we have a very nice uh, double series right here. And I'm just going to pull out a negative 1 from here. I'm going to combine t terms because you um, have t, uh, t to the power of 2k. You also have t to the power of n minus k. You can just kind of combine those very easily. And I'm going to separate it out so it's a little easier to look at. So by combining and such, um, we see that we get uh, this is a result. I pulled out a negative 1. I've combined just like I said I would. And the next step is to do kind of a very um, very clever substitution, I guess. Um, so what we want to do is we kind of want to make this t n plus k. We want to line that up with what we have up here, which is t to the power of n. And uh, the thing about um, the variables for the series, they're kind of like these dummy variables, uh, they're often called. So um, n equals 0 to infinity of uh, un x t to the n. That's the same thing if, you, if, if it was an n or if it was an l or a j, et cetera. Uh, that is going to come up again later, but I'm going to do the following substitution. I'm going to let k be still equal to k. 
and I'm going to set n equal to m minus k. Uh, and when I substitute that in, uh, we need to first check the limits, uh, see how those change. So n equals 0 um, to infinity. Uh, we're going to be using m instead of n, so I'll uh, do that in a second. k is equal to 0. Uh, instead of k going to n, uh, when we have k equal to n, well, we set n equal to m minus k again. So instead, what we see here is you add k on both sides, and you see that you get 2k is equal to m. So your upper limit instead is, uh, is going to be k is equal to m divided by 2 in this case. So. Uh, and then your m is also going to range from 0 to infinity. Um, the reason why, you can kind of see over here by our definition. Um, m is going to be equal to n plus k, and n goes to 0. k also starts at 0, so it is also going to go from 0 to infinity as well. Uh, so the next step is just to kind of substitute your new variable in uh, where you see the old variables. So since k is still equal to k, I'm going to leave that alone, but I'm going to put in the m. Uh, um, as a value, m is equal to n plus k. So I'm going to hit. Or apologies. Um, uh, where I we see an m, I'm going to substitute in m minus k. Apologies. Um, because that is the substitution that we're doing. So what that kind of does for us, uh, so what that does for us is um, kind of uh, gives us these terms that look a little messier. But what it really does that helps us a lot is it gives us this t to the power of m term. Why is that useful? Because now it finally matches this. I'm going to now write on the side that this is equal to that. Um, like I said earlier, if you change a dummy variable from like an m to an l to a k or a j, it's going to be the same thing. So I'm just going to write that off. I'm going to change. Um, n to m, and then you'll see where I'm going with this. OK, and very interestingly, um, this is where the magic kind of happens. You have the same m equals 0 to infinity, m equals 0 to infinity on both sides. And this is where we get the series representation of um, u sub m, in this case, um, x from. Because what we can do now is we can say, um, in order for this to be equal to that, well, of course, the coefficient of um, t to the m has to be the same. So by saying this, we can say that uh, this expression is exactly equal to this expression. And that is exactly what we want. This is your answer. So that is the series representation of the Chebyshev polynomial um, u, m, or n, whatever you want to call it, of x uh, like this. And it is kind of weird, it is kind of cool, uh, but orthogonal polynomials are very helpful and we hope you can use this in the future. So that is it for this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see more Problems of the Week, Advanced Knowledge Problems of the Week, you can feel free to click up here for our playlist. If you want to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, feel free to click right there. And if you want to visit us on centermath.org, you can feel free to click right there. Uh, if you're on a mobile device, there should be an I in the top corner over there. You can click that for the same links. Thank you very much for watching.